Hey there, beer lovers. I'm Ben, the Bearded Beer Whisperer, and today we're looking at Dogfish Head Brewing Company's Pumpkin Ale. What he said. The commercial description for this beer reads as follows. Pumpkin Ale is a full-bodied spiced brown ale brewed with baked pumpkins, cinnamon, nutmeg, and brown sugar. Dogfish Head Pumpkin Ale is named after the annual Pumpkin Chunkin' Festival held near Lewis, Delaware, the weekend after Halloween. It has an estimated calorie content of 210 calories per 12 ounces and an ABV of 7%. For appearance, we saw that it had a nice, thin, kind of creamy head, broke down rather quickly. Yours is all gone, yeah. mine's still there just a little bit. Uh, it has, uh, it's got a nice, kind of orangish color to it. It kind of looks like amber to me. It does. Uh, for appearance, I think I'm going to go with three. Because it claims to be a brown ale and it's... Yeah, that's not brown. Yeah. I mean, I understand. That's fair. So it has a nice ale smell to it, and the brown sugar, nutmeg, and cinnamon kind of come at the end. Yeah, that's a solid way to describe it for sure. What is the stank for you? I'm saying high. I can't pick a number right now. I think we go with straight seven. See, I was thinking of like eight or nine. Mm. I like that sound. Mostly because some beer just smells black. That actually has kind of like a pleasant aroma. Ooh, wow. Yeah, it, it's. Very heavy in the spice flavoring. That is all over the place. Well, you know, I expect a brown ale to be heavier in the, the sugars. Yeah, I guess that makes sense, but <clears throat> I'm still just like... It's the sweetness of the pumpkin. It's not a, a very beery beer, you know what I mean? Yeah, it almost, like, for how much carbonation I'm still seeing in it, it the mm -hmm. sweetness almost makes it taste a little flat. So, I like the taste. It's got a good pumpkin flavor. It's got the, the sugars and the spices mixed well together. Then there's a, a little bit of an ale bitter linger at the end. I'm gonna go high on the taste. I'm gonna do a, a nine. You know, I'm gonna go eight. I, I almost agree with you. How's the aftertaste feeling you? Like, it's, it's got a, it's a nice medium body, but it's fizzy. It's, it's a, the carbonation's high. Uh, I'm feeling the burp already coming. My feeling towards it is, it, you ever eat some Starbursts or Skittles or something, you got that weird, like, it ain't like a saliva in your mouth anymore. It's like, what is this? People call it a loogie, but it ain't a loogie. You know, that's what this leaves in my mouth. I'm gonna go lower the palate. I'm gonna say two, just so I'm not digging the the uncomfortable carbonation feeling. Ooh, man, probably just a two. Yeah, yeah. I agree with you on that one. Drinkability. Uh, this beer would kind of just be a one and done. Yeah, I'd say ten. Like it's not bad by any stretch of the imagination, but it's far from the kind of thing that I'd like to get hammered on all the time. Yeah, I was gonna go one up yeah and do the fifteen because if I was at, at happy hour, I'd get this. It'd be a, it'd be a start. It'd be where I start. I might never. I probably never pick this up again. No? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can see that. But uh, for drinkability, I'm going to go medium range at the, the, the 15. Rob gave it a 3.2. I gave it a 3.6. It's a medium range beer. Uh, pick it up, try it. You might like it more than we did. Well, that's all I really have to say about it. So, as always, I'm Ben the Bearded Beer Whisperer, wishing you a safe drive home. Hey there, Hopheads. I just want to remind you that if you like this video, click that like button. If you're new here, click that subscribe button. And if you have a booze, a beer, a brewery, or cocktail you want us to talk about, go ahead and leave those suggestions in the comment section below. Shot within a shot. Shotception.